Thomas Edison said, a genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. In his pursuit of inventing the light bulb, he tried and failed more than 3,000 times. That's 3,000 times to find the right filament that would glow continuously without burning out. You probably agree that real creativity is rarely accidental. It often requires a good dose of dark determination and perseverance. So whether you are a sales professional, a business person, or an entrepreneur, you surely know that success requires passion grit and effort to achieve your goals. It also requires relentless commitment, hard work, strategic and tactical refined processes to achieve the results you are after. Thomas Edison would not have had success had he stopped trying in his 10th attempt or even his 100th attempts. He understood that every failure get him closer to his goal. So he documented every single failure. He learned from it and added to his bank of knowledge. He was continuously experiencing new ways while refining his trial method. He worked in a theory until it became a dead end. Then document it or document the lesson learned and move on to discover a new one. He turned his failures into an intellectual Coliseum of proven experiences. So a growth mindset requires the same process. You develop a theory, you study it, you plan, and work towards its realization, knowing well that you will face numerous failures before achieving results. A great mindset allows you to overcome adversity because you are prepared for it. So how do you develop a great mindset? Number one, follow both your head and heart. Passion will stimulate your creativity and perseverance will get you the result you are after. Number two, take action. Press on and accept the fact that you're going to get it wrong a reasonable amount of time. To change the world, start with changing yourself first. Number three, draft a strategic plan of execution. Refine it as you go. Don't expect it to be perfect because it can't. Get scruffy. Innovation and creativity is a messy business. You probably know that. Number four, don't get too attached to your work, please. Let go of anything that doesn't work. Discard it and look for a more efficient way to do it. Number five, Stay hungry. The king of the hill can only go down. Remember that the wolf on the hill is not as hungry as the wolf that is climbing the hill. Great requires incessant hunger as fuel to keep going. So when you get stuck, what can you do to unstuck your growth mindset? When you're stuck, ask yourself, what can I do to get myself out of this situation? When you are making little or no progress, ask the following question. What am I doing wrong? Is there a better way to do this? And when you're frustrated with your progress, ask the question, how can I get this done more efficiently? Who knows better on this subject than I am? When you feel challenged by your lack of results, ask the following question. What can I do to become better at this? Who has experience in this area and can assist me? When you're facing a difficult challenge, ask the question, what is my best course of action here? What option do I have? What can I assist, who can assist me to solve the following problem? You see, a great mindset is all about completing a goal regardless of the odds you face. A great mindset is a curious mind that asks tough questions, thinks on paper, reflect and adjust to meet the necessary demand.